a few days ago, I had the privilege of doing one of my really good girlfriend's makeup for Seagull auditions, which if you're not from Seattle and you don't know, the Seagulls are the cheerleaders for the Seattle Seahawks and she's been on the team for three years and she just made it for her fourth season, so congratulations Sunrose. I did her makeup for two different tryout days and we did this really beautiful bright eyed springy poppy look with a bright pink lip and I just wanted to sort of recreate that and I just think that this look is absolutely beautiful. It's so fresh and vibrant and I love this pink lip. This is like one of my absolute favorite lip colors. I have this lipstick in like so many different formulas. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, then you're missing out. So click down below to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep uploading as much great content as I possibly can, create new looks. I'm feeling really inspired and have lots of great videos planned and I'm trying to grow my audience. So if you have Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, any of those things, follow me there as well. Everything is at Emily Amanda Moore. I will put that down in the description below. I am a Twitter maniac. So if you want to chat with me or get to know me or um, suggest ideas for videos or whatever, I mean, of course do that here on YouTube, but Twitter is so fast and easy. I will get back to you so much quicker. With that being said, I think that's everything, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I freaking love it. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this video and the makeup look in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions, or looks you want to see in the future, please let me know. I would really appreciate your feedback. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! So since I'm working with glitter today, I am going to be starting with the eyes and I'm going to prime them first using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and then using a damp beauty blender to blend that out and just press it into the skin. To set that, I'm using my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This has a little bit of a tint to it, but it's pretty transparent, translucent, and this will just lock in that concealer. And then for eyeshadows, I'm using this Makeup Revolution Matte Eyeshadow Palette. You get a ton of shades, I think like 32 shades, and I'm starting with this peachy orange tone, and I'm working this into the crease with a buffer brush. All over, back and forth, windshield wiper motions, circular motions, the whole shebang. And then I'm moving into this pink color, and in person it looks a little bit more pink than it does there, but I'm also just going to go over top of that to brighten up that orange. To deepen up the outside and add a tiny bit of smoke, I'm using this dusty brown color and a slightly more tapered blending brush and just putting this on the outer V and um, focusing just on the outer corners of the eyes. For some shine, I'm using this beautiful ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Kush or Kush. I'm not sure how to say that, but I'm just using my finger and patting this all over the lid, staying on the inner two thirds of the eye. Then using a little dense buffing brush, I am just going back and forth and making sure that it's all blended in nicely with the shadows. For some extra sparkle, I'm using this beautiful Bobbi Brown Sparkle Shadow in the color Mica, and I've had this shadow for years, maybe like six or seven years, so it's lasted a really long time, and I'm just putting this over my eyelids using my ring finger. And then going back into the Makeup Revolution palette and into this dark brown, I'm using a really tiny tapered buffing brush and just putting this in the outer corner, I just wanted to add a little bit more depth. Okay, I'm back at it again with the pink shadow and just using my big buffing brush one more time to make sure I have no harsh lines. I want it to be very smooth. To line my eyes and create a little wing, I'm using this Julep Fluid Eye Glider, and this is a super matte black pen. I really, really like it. I've used it several times. Never in a video before, though. Um, I've been using gel liners, which are also great, but a pen is an awesome alternative. Maybe you're not comfortable with the gel liners. Um, this one is really great because the tip of it is so fine and very, very precise. And you can see here what I'm doing is I'm just kind of building up the wings, starting with a little outside flick and then drawing a line inward and fading it into nothing. I don't want this black line to go all the way across my eye. Just like maybe around my pupil is where I end it. To 
prime my face, I'm using this Clinique Super Primer, and you can tell this is just a packet or a little sample of it. Uh, you know, if you're a beauty lover, you get samples all the time, and uh, I was just trying it out. So it was nice. It's kind of like a lotion. Nothing exciting, though. Um, and then I'm making a little foundation cocktail here using some Estee Lauder Double Wear and Estee Lauder Day Wear BB. Um, I did a little bit of a fake tanner, which was like the first time I've ever done that in years since I was on a dance team. So it's weird having some color in my skin. So I needed a little bit um, more of a darker color and that's why I mixed the Daywear BB in there. And I actually really love the finish of this. It just made it a little bit more dewy and skin-like. So beautiful. I've been loving using this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I use this to brighten my face, so under the eyes and down my nose, center the forehead and the chin, I believe. And um, I, so, this is so good. I'm so impressed with it. You need the tiniest amount of this. I don't understand how they pack so much pigment in one little product, um, but I'm just using my beauty blender and then a little bit of a concealer brush to make sure that I don't go on top of my winged liner. But this honestly blends out so beautifully just using your fingertips. To warm up my complexion even more, I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Undetectable Cream Bronzer. I've used this in one video before, but I cannot even begin to tell you how impressed I am with this product and how well it lasts on my skin. I was a little worried that it would break up and get splotchy throughout the day because it is a cream product, but no, it is so awesome. I love the consistency and it goes on great with a little stippling brush. Can't get enough. Now that I've warmed up the perimeters of my face, I'm going to add some glow from within using this highlighter from the Estee Edit. And this is a favorite of mine. Like I just have to throw it out there. It is so good. Like there's more colors than I think I want them all. Oh, it's so good and so creamy and so easy to apply. I'm just using a little brush here, but you can just use your fingers. You can use it as a primer. You can mix it with foundation, whatever the heck you want to do. The possibilities are endless. I am obsessed with this product. It's so pretty and natural. And again, I'm just going in with this Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder to set my entire face in a big Zoeva powder brush. You know how to do this, right? Now using an oldie but a goodie, I'm using this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm using this to contour my face. I think this is such a beautiful, cool toned bronzer that you can use it to just, you know, bronze and warm up your entire face or you can use it like a contour like I'm doing here. I forgot how delicious this was. I haven't used it in a while since I've been obsessed with my Kat Von D Shade and Light palettes. But as soon as I put this on, I remember why I love it so much. Not only is it a beautiful finish, it's just, it smells so great. And um, I'm putting this down the sides of my nose, so I'll be sure to smell it all day long. And then also underneath my bottom lip to create more of a pout. And I'm going to try something new today and bake using some RCMA No Color Powder. I have never done this before. I thought I would just give it a try. And I am just using a like tapered or flat edged brush and just packing this underneath where I just did my contour to create a really nice crisp line. And then I'm just going to let it sit there while I put on my blush. This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Blush in the shade Peach Passion. It's really beautiful. It's kind of like Luminoso, but a little bit more pinky and it has a little bit more pigment in it as well. So so pretty it's a classic and then I'm also going to do my eyebrows while I finish baking and this is the Ofra universal eyebrow pencil I'd never used this before it's just been sitting in my makeup drawer and uh, so I thought I'd give it a go and I like it the only thing is that it's pretty waxy and personally I like a pencil to be a tiny bit more pigmented than waxy um, I don't know I just feel like it's a little bit harder to work with but it does keep my eyebrow hairs in place much better than pencils that aren't waxy and I don't have to use a setting gel or anything. So that's really nice too. It looks really beautiful. I like it. I just had to be a little bit more careful than when I just used some other pencils that are a little bit less waxy. Now I'm wiping away the powder underneath my cheeks and revealing a beautiful crisp contour lines. I like it, you know, I'm not obsessed. I wouldn't do this on an everyday basis, but I thought I'd try it out and uh, yeah, it looks nice and clean. 
Now back into this Makeup Revolution palette and this peachy shade, I'm using a little brush. It's like a dome brush and I'm just putting this underneath the lower lash line, trying to keep it a little bit closer to the lashes than I normally do. Sometimes I like to go like crazy and um, extend that shadow really far, but I'm just keeping it pretty close. And then I'm using this dark brown just on top of the lower lashes to make them appear a little bit thicker. Okay, this is the best black liner for tight lining or putting it in the waterline. So good. It's from Essay Lauder. It's the Intense Kajal Pencil. Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. It goes on in one swipe. I love it. And it lasts for hours. Like, I'll put this on at the beginning of the day. I'll work for, you know, eight hours, come home, and it's still on. And then to do my waterline, I am using this nude pencil from Rimmel. Um, unfortunately, the black transferred onto the bottom, so I kind of had gray waterline on the bottom but you know it's okay it's pretty hard to keep it from transferring so you know dream big and then for highlighting I'm using my brand new and beautiful Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit in the shade gleam yeah there's two different palettes this is the more pink toned one and I'm using the color crush pearl to highlight my inner corners of my eyes and then also underneath my brow bone I'm going to coat my lashes using my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara and ever since my last video I have been loving using this. I'm so glad I've rediscovered it and uh, yeah, I, I love it. I love the volume that it gives. I love the lift that it gives my lashes as well. You've probably noticed that I don't curl my lashes. I don't really need to but I really think that this mascara makes them stand up. Now I'm using the highlight shade Hard Candy from the Anastasia palette and using this as a blush topper. It looks bronzy in that picture for some reason, but it's super pink. I love it. So I'm just brushing this on top of my blush and then I'm mixing those two bottom shades and creating a highlight. It's so intense, so incredible. Oh my goodness, you know what they say, like you can you can see this from space. I'm, I'm sure of it. It's so pretty. And then I'm putting this on my Cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. Bam! Look at that. I'm going to do a little bit of excessive lining here using my Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner. It's clear and I'm just putting this on the outsides of my lip line. This will just prevent any like, I don't know, what's it called? Bleeding or feathering um, from my lipstick. And then I'm using this NYX lip pencil in the color Pinky Rose and lining and filling in my lips. I'm using this amazing fuchsia color from NYX. It's called Dolly Girl, and the formula is um, the Extreme Lip Creams. I love this. It's super long wearing, very creamy, easy to apply, goes on like a gloss, and looks like a lipstick. And then since we've spent about 30 minutes on our makeup, I want it to stay all day, so I'm using this L'Oreal setting spray to keep it all in place. And then I'm topping everything off with this beautiful fragrance. It's so amazing. Tokyo Milk Dark, everything and nothing. Oh my god, it smells like tea. I can't get enough. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I did her makeup for 